What's going on, fam? It's the Entertainer, Motivator, Educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Game Caught News update. Today, we're talking about a sleazy deception that happened between Maryland, uh, the, 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 the Maryland uh, football team, and the South Carolina football team when it comes to uh, four star linebacker recruit Jayshon Barham. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Uh, before I go any further, man, do one of three things. So one, join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. And nosebleed Lucky Murray drops every Friday. Also, 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 um, just great content that, that's coming up on, on there. You know, the next two weeks is going to be crazy over there. Um, you don't want to miss it, man. If you love what I do here, join the Patreon page. The link is in the description. And also in the pinned comment, patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray. Two, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Like, you know, every time I drop a video, I know that's like three or four different steps, but I'm counting those as two and three. Share the video, so helps out a ton. So, let's get into this. And man, Jay Sean Burham was uh, a couple days ago, I did the video that he he committed to South Carolina. Game Cop Nation was happy, the Shane Beamer staff was happy, but it was something kind of fishy about the whole situation. And I'm going to tell you the story how it was told to me because I'm reading it on a Greenville news site for not Yahoo News. OK, so basically, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase this. He committed four days ago, about five days ago to South Carolina. Everybody was going crazy. You know, Shane Beamer doing this thing. Uh, four star linebacker, six, three, I think two thirty five ish. If I remember correctly, everybody was going crazy. Then yesterday during signing day, which right now in the early signing period, we got the number 22, 23 uh, class in the nation, which is very great because the year prior, we was number 72. He flipped and went to home school, uh, Maryland. And somebody from the Maryland camp, I'm not saying there was an insider, but somebody Shane Beamer knew from inside that know the program called Shane Beamer was like, yo, bro, don't be surprised if Sean flips. And Shane Beamer said he wasn't surprised. But he was on the phone, his coaching staff, I'm not saying Shane Beamer, but the Beamer team was on the phone with this young man sometimes as late as 10 to 11 o'clock at night, Tuesday night. It was Tuesday night. Jay Sean and his mama telling him how thankful they were to find a home, how appreciative they were of how they do things. They knew South Carolina was the place for them on his very visit and how excited they were about the future. You feel good about things. And it was kind of strange that the next day, the Maryland uh, coach, Mike Lawson, Flip the hometown star so that way they can get a little bit of PR buzz because they felt like if they could snatch a hometown hero away from the game, Cox, that they will look on the up and up. So while Maryland may have to receive the media extra run for the press and social media, Shane Beamer comes out looking highly respected. And that Maryland program. It, it, it's not looking so hot, man. It's not looking so hot. I, I, here's what I say, man. Uh, uh, so, for the young man, Jay Sean Brown, I truly hope that this young man isn't allowing these coaches to sway him one way to another. I mean, if you knew where you was going to go before you even said, not, nah, it's different if you say something and then you flip. I mean, I understand that that happens a lot. You You may have your heart on there. You may be leaning some way, but then when you just come out and say it and you're, you're, you're solid as a rocket, your mama saying it, but then you turn around and you go to Maryland, it's like, look, man, what is your word? Like me, me raising young men, I don't want them to, uh, your word is your bond. But then when they, when they get into different situations, their word isn't their bond. And, and I think that for this young man, I, I hope that this wasn't the case. This wasn't the case where he knew all along and he played the game. Like, like, listen, man, these college coaches will use you as a pawn. You know, they will only, they will only use you 
when it is convenient for them. But then when something happens, let's say this young man get hurt, not wishing nothing on this young man. Let's say this young man get hurt. Are they still going to be supporting him two or three years later when he's not the number four recruit, when he's not the hot commodity? Come on, man. Let's get one thing straight, man. This is this is fishy. And you know what I'm saying? The mom come on the phone like, y'all know the decision. Y'all, y'all knew what time it was. So just let it be known. Like, if you want to go to Maryland, just go to Maryland. Nobody knock you for that. But that's crazy how insider let the Beamer camp know, listen, this man going to flip right after he made it publicly known that, yo, I'm going to South Carolina. Two, Maryland, you're grimy. You're grimy, Maryland. One, it's like you don't have to do all this. You don't have to be going back and forth and trying to get people. Your program's not even that hot anyway. Now, you may say, well, lucky South Carolina. Shut up. All right. The Maryland program is not that hot anyway. When the last time Maryland has been uh, relevant in the ACC? Don't worry, I wait in football. Basketball, you could say about basketball. I think last time they won a national championship was in 02. Um, they may have been relevant uh, since then, but I remember 02 Maryland won a Super, uh, 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 NCAA championship. But say, tell me when Maryland has ever been relevant in football in the ACC in the last 10 years. In the last 20 years, I don't remember Maryland being that relevant. So, when it comes to this, man, grimy coaches get grimy results, and that is a sucky football team. And I hope that Maryland gets all they deserve, all the social media hype, everything that comes to them. Because, listen, listen, man, that's grimy, man. It, it, it really is. But it's no loyalty in thieves. And college football is, is made up of so many thieves and, and liars and cheats. Uh, to, 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 to pat their numbers up To make things look good But listen You gotta play the game Right And you gotta produce on the field And if you can't produce on the field You don't keep a job long So here's what I'm gonna do man Like I said before man I just pray that this, this, this story Is not what it seemed like From Jay Sean Abram And his family it, it, it doesn't seem I don't know the young man So I, I, I don't know I don't know But I'm just saying like Listen man Your word is your bond And if you knew four days ago or five days ago that you was going to Maryland, you should have just said, yo, I'm going to Maryland. Yo, I'm still undecided. And don't say nothing. You know, you can say, yo, I'm leaning for South Carolina. You can, you know, and then the early signing day, just, I mean, boom, just say, I, I need, I, I, I'm, I'm here. You know, he put the paperwork to Maryland, but listen, Maryland, you got what you want, man, but your program still sucks. Here's what I need you to do. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another game caught news update, and we've been duped. By Maryland and elite linebacker Jay Sean Brown. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and also join that Patreon if you still here. I know I went on the rant, but it's all love, family. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> it's the next time, people.